Election day is tomorrow in BC and the NDP just can't seem to keep their candidates out of the news. But this time it's not James Wang and his dubious MBA claims or his shady business past, nor is it David Eby and his flirtation with the radical eco-terror group Earth First. Now over the weekend, two more NDP candidates had some downright awful press. First up, Jerry Taft, the NDP's candidate for Columbia River Revelstoke, is in the news once again. But this time it's not because he claimed he was bisexual to gain the NDP nomination under the party's diversity policy. And no, he's not making more claims that the only way BC will see a softwood lumber deal is when President Trump is impeached. This time, Jerry Taft got himself sued for defamation to the tune of $75,000. The court ruled Taft had defamed animal rights activist Devin Kazakov after he made postings online about the plaintiff's past transgressions taking down deer traps as part of the region's cull program. Now say what you like about this kind of interference in a conservation program by Kazakov. That gave no right for Taft, who is also the mayor of Invermere, BC, the right to call Kazakov a quote, convicted felon. When the charge was only for mischief and Kazakov ended up paying a fine in 2015. The justice in the case ruled that, quote, I found the defendant's evidence regarding his state of mind towards the plaintiff, as well as his understanding of and motivation for the contents of his January 13th, 2016 post to be overly rehearsed and just disingenuous, unquote. That wasn't the worst of it, though, for the NDP over the weekend, though, as it was revealed by the Penticton Herald that Colleen Ross, the candidate for Boundary Similkamine, had offered an independent candidate in her riding, Dr. Peter Entwistle, a position with the NDP in exchange for dropping out of the race. That's basically the equivalent of a bribe, folks. Reading from the Herald article, quote, Ross feels Entwistle would be better off to take on the role of NDP health champion rather than MLA and is ultimately not threatened by his participation in the election. In speaking with the Herald, Entwistle confirmed that Ross asked him to step down and offered him a position, but he feels he can do more for residents by staying in the race." Unquote. Well, that caused a bit of a media storm over the weekend, and the Penticton Herald mysteriously pulled down their article today and released a clarification stating, quote, In an article about the Boundary Similkameen which appeared on page one and page three of Friday's print edition of the Penticton Herald, it was stated Dr. Peter Entwistle was offered a position by NDP candidate Colleen Ross. After reviewing tape of both interviews, the position Entwistle was describing was that of an unpaid advisor and not a government job or position." Unquote. But Dr. Entwistle is sticking by his story that he was offered such a position. He told the Soyuz Times, quote, if I was offered a position in exchange for stepping down, whether it was financially rewarded position or a volunteer position, it doesn't really make any difference, Entwistle said. It's an inducement either way. I wasn't interested. I have a concern that the offer was to make me drop out. I declined because I don't think it was in the best interest of our riding." Unquote. Well, whether it was a bribe or an inducement or neither, it warrants an investigation from either Elections BC or the police. Look, we're only one day from deciding our province's fate, and the BC NDP just come with so much risk of returning to the unethical behavior we saw on display in the 90s with Bingo Gate, Casino Gate, the Fast Ferry fiasco, it goes on. So when you go to vote tomorrow, just remember, it's the same old BC NDP, and friends don't let friends vote NDP. For the Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my election coverage for this BC election. You can go back and check out all of my videos on the Rebel Canada YouTube page. And going forward, please subscribe so you'll get all the best Canadian news and conservative stories.